person to person, tribe to tribe, nation to nation, earth to outer space. Communications, word pictures, symbols, signals, communications. The need to communicate has always been with us. We change only our means to suit the times in which we live. December 10, 1972. America and Challenger went into orbit around the moon. Today, we use our 20th century technology for those same basic communications needs. To teach, to inform, to motivate, and to entertain. Armstrong Audio Video is a multimedia complex setting new standards in Australia and ranking amongst the finest audiovisual communications facilities in the world. The world, in fact, not just Australia, is the boundary for the services provided by Armstrong Audio Video, services for broadcasting, industry, education, and government. Entertainment has long been the backbone of broadcasting. In Australia, the colour video cameras of AAV are making an increasing contribution to the television scene. Moonlight and roses are the going thing. Champagne and little love and a wedding ring. But every time she leaves, it's gonna break your heart. It's happened before, don't come to me, I don't want no part. Let go, it ain't worth it if it hurts you. Let go, you don't need it if she don't care. Like a good old But the best television, as with radio, relies upon the best sound. When a long list of international recording artists and producers choose to record here, when feature film soundtracks are made here, and when most of Australia's significant radio commercials are recorded here, there's a fair indication that Armstrong's has the best in sound. Walsh mit Wodka, the people's drink. Yes, my darling. Kenneth Gerald Barton at your service. Commercials are a big part of the activity in AAV's okay. five sound studios. Terrific take, Jim. And a big part also of its video operations. Breeze steak bourgeois. <laughs> Mr. Heinz has always made up the language. Now, by heaven, he's making up the dishes. Chump, chop, champrelon. He seems to think you can just take a can of potter soup stock pot pour it over four chump chops, add potato, bacon and onion, and for under two dollars, you can feed a family of four. He could be right. What a pity I didn't bring the family. Oh. Television today is expanding beyond the realm of broadcasting into the fields of industry, government and education. The training program, an essential part of the day-to-day -day needs of industry, is made easier through the use of video cassettes. However, too much of this heavy fraction causes problems. The heaviest of its compounds are liable to form deposits which clog up the inlet system. Also, when the engine is cold, the heavy fraction will not vaporize. As an unburnable liquid, it makes starting and warm up difficult. Management, too, is finding an ever-increasing use of video for company communications, for staff relations, and for keeping distant branch offices fully informed of company activities. Alec Orford from head office flew to Darwin on the last commercial airliner allowed into the stricken city. Alec was followed a week later by the chairman, Bruce Clark, and Alan Wilkinson. At Armstrong Audio Video, the industrial and educational division is prepared for the video revolution but it's a revolution that does not make old programs redundant. Slides and films, whether black and white or color, are easily transferred to videotape, sometimes improving their quality by our color balancing and image enhancement methods. Copies of the new easy to use video cassette can then be quickly duplicated at a considerable saving in time and cost. 
comes in education, it. cost has always been of this prime a, consideration, that, uh, and broadcasting for many years has taken yeah, the lead in that, television uh, education. It has produced programs specifically really for schools. Whether it's the male that goes in there, that's, the, that's it there. Mm. Um, the female digs the burrow, doesn't it? Uh, the, the female dig the burrow, and also. it's much bigger than the male. It's quite quite a lot larger yes. than the male, and it's likely to eat the male, uh, who then tries to escape by what building a smaller uh, little hole here that she can't get into to catch him. Broadcast television has widened our access to information through its news, current affairs, and documentary programs. The quarter horses are a hobby. Um, we don't really breed purebred quarter horses. They're a first cross we've got here, uh, combining, you know, I think we get the qualities of the Australian horse and the qualities of the American horse, and we're combining the two. It has helped develop not only the best television techniques, but the best communicators. Notice I'm silent. S sepulchral stillness. Hint. Examine the surface here and the surface there. What, how are these surfaces distinguished or characterized? Isn't this one rough by millions of fold more? Yes. Yeah. Is not the error exposed out here to this much multiplied, Mr. Javier? It's how many see is. there is much more surface? Area from which radiation losses will occur. Yes. Give me a small hand. Excuse me, sir. Could you show me to do that facing for us? That's this part here, is it? This part. Doing the head. Well, you better get rid of that metal first and face that hole away. Okay. You'll see it here on this. But for the teacher, the video cassette provides the chance to totally integrate sound and vision into the lesson. The ability to stop and start or repeat allows the teacher and the student to pace the program to his own needs and ability. And projecting about 40 millimeters from the face of the chuck. There is a stage on which to place the object to be examined. The video cassette is particularly suited to procedural teaching. The step-by-step -step method, which so often requires constant repetition, the method which for so long has been the burden of most teachers. Beneath the stage is the third lens system, the condenser, used to focus the rays of light from the light source onto the object on the slide on the stage. But video excels also in the enrichment programs where good quality sound and a rich, clear picture bring out the best qualities of art and of culture. Going far back in time, in fact to 1500 years before the development of the calendar and hieroglyphics, these four articles of pottery were made. Articles of function and beauty in the ancient Egyptian style. These were molded during Egypt's Gersian period during the 4000 BC pre-dynastic years. Worlds of pattern, now almost worn away, are etched on the pots which are the oldest articles in the National Gallery. They are part of a collection of Mediterranean antiquities chosen for their demonstration of man's creativity through the ages. A new development, television projection, now takes video out of the confines of the small monitor or home receiver and into the lecture halls and industry presentations. The advent video beam projector receives its picture from broadcast television, from live camera, or from the video cassette. The former head of the United Nations Film and Television Unit and a consultant to AAV, Theodore Conant, is enthusiastic about the video cassette in education. Well, it's certainly a powerful tool. Of course, I think if you look at the history of educational technology, people have been promising miracles ever since the blackboard. People, when the blackboard was invented, they said that was going to be more powerful than, than the invention of printing. And this has been said about radio and school broadcasting and film and all sorts of things. But there's no question that the video cassette is a very powerful extension of man. It's so flexible. It's so quiet. You can use it with the lights on. And uh, it just is a, is a different world compared to film, and it's a different world, as I've mentioned, compared to the school broadcast, because you don't have to switch it on and off at a specific time. The simplicity of operation of the video cassette has taken its cue from the tiny audio cassette, now a familiar item in homes, schools, and audiovisual libraries. 
An integral part of the activities of Armstrong Audio Video is the recording and high-speed dubbing of audio cassettes in other languages as well as English. The cassettes sometimes form part of a sound and print program used in schools and industrial training. Or they may be part of a tape slide audio visual program. There are two basic types of readout systems. The audio visual department at Armstrong's handles not only the simple single screen method, but integrated audio visual lectures and the powerfully motivating multi screen presentations so widely used by government and by industry. Multimedia, then, is what Armstrong Audio Video is all about. It is a world in which the computer is playing an increasingly important part. The computer is at the heart of a new videotape editing system at Armstrong's, a system designed to save you time and money. Another special feature at AAV is the video synthesizer. Basically, it's a video animation bench. Working from monochrome graphics, which are later colorized, the synthesizer can twist, turn, bend, and pulsate the image in a fraction of the time taken by conventional film animation. Its application in advertising and entertainment titles is unlimited, but it extends also to business and communication symbols and to the simulation of physical phenomena in science. Armstrong Audio Video is a product of 20th century technology. But its technology and its people are serving a very old basic need, communications, no matter how simple or how complex. Armstrong Audio Video, a communication service to broadcasting, industry, education and government.